The night sky is a tapestry of shooting stars, each bearing a wish upon it. But what are those wishes? People wish for money. They wish for love. Some wish to change the future, others the past. But could you really call such absurd hopes wishes? What we call wishes are, well, nothing more than delusions. That's not to say one should feel guilty for indulging in them, of course. Each and every human is, at his or her core, a being who dines on delusion. <laughs> no, that's not quite right. Please allow me to rephrase. Humans are the only beings capable of self-delusion. In a way, that's a power, one granted exclusively to the human race. Delusions allow people to wallow in their most idealized, impossible dreams, free from reality. In fact, it can be said without a shred of hyperbole that this is man's single true joy. But humans, oh, they are well aware that their delusions do not in any way represent reality. And perhaps, that is the most tragic indictment one could make of reality. But that's precisely the reason delusions exist. The reason they serve the function they serve. And yet, and yet, what if a delusion were to suddenly become real? Could you think of anything more wonderful? That, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason I exist. Now, draw the curtain. Indulge in a spectacular delusion that transcends your wildest dreams. Oh, now where might this be? Come and get me! Delusion all its own. No Thank <laughs> you. 
Or is this reality? Come and get me! Which do you wish it to be? No problem. You like that was hot? Delusion and reality stand on either side of you. Welcome to the interstice between reality and delusion. Here, whether you exist within reality or delusion is so... Shall we commence? Shall we descend into this delusion that presents itself as reality? And this reality that seems an illusion? Crap, crap, damn hell, ass crap. I am so late. Mizuki's gonna chew my head off. And I'm gonna need that to read the early copy of the latest weekly chop he got for me, too. I gotta get over to Junk Street like yesterday. There's nothing like Akiba on a Saturday. It's a madhouse, sure, but it's my madhouse. Oh, hello, Miaster. Allow me out, Nikkei Musameda, to welcome you to this fine establishment. Uh, what? Sorry, but I'm kind of in a hurry here. It'll only take a meow, I swear. I represent Neon Dreamin', a cat ear cafe which opens tomorrow. And, per, 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 presenting 
our grand opening special. Only 222 yen per drink. It's a steal. Oh, here, take this flyer as a souvenir. Uh, thanks. Wait, didn't this place used to be a bunny ear cafe, like, a month ago? <laughs> that was then. This is now. Bunny ears are way out, and kitty ears are super duper in. Man, Akiba doesn't waste any time replacing little pop-ups like this, does it? It's kind of brutal. Yeah! <sighs> Crap, it's Mizuki. Hello? Don't you hello me? You kept me waiting for two hours. Any sane person would have left ages ago. S sorry. Where are you anyway? Oh, I'm on my way, I swear. Sprinting down the road as we speak. Be there in five. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that before. Five minutes. I'll be here, but I'm betting you won't. Yep, Mizuki is definitely not happy with me. Sorry, but I gotta run. I've got a friend waiting for me. Then I'll be waiting right here for you to return, Yester.
There you are. Sorry. Do you have any idea how late you are? How long you kept me waiting? N no I know. It's just that, you know, on my way here, stuff happened. Ah, oh, yes, stuff. Okay, I'll play along. What sort of stuff happened today? Well, uh, I was talking to a maid. Ooh, there's that, and, um... Huh? So, maids before bros, huh? That's the game you're playing here? No, 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 that's not it. That is so not what I meant. Then by all means, elucidate. Okay, so first she just kind of called out to me, out of the blue. Then she was all, there's gonna be a cat at your cafe opening tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a cat. I mean, you know. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> I, 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 uh... Here I was all ready to yell at you, and now you've got me laughing instead. It's not fair. Guess it's not too surprising, though. Against all odds, you've always had bizarrely good people skills. I... have? Wait, does avoiding all contact with other people count as a people skill now? I mean it. You might not have ever noticed it, but you're good at interacting with your peers. I mean, you've had me waiting here half a day to give you this stupid magazine. Isn't that proof enough? Speaking of, take it. You've been dying to read this, right? Oh, it's so beautiful. The last issue left off on a killer cliffhanger. I've been waiting so hard for this. Thank you so much. It's no problem. It was on my way to work anyway. Which I'd be late for if you kept me waiting another 30 minutes. You'd still be hanging off of that cliff. Wait, you got work on a Saturday? Man, you're pretty much always working these days, huh? It suits you, though. Tutoring junior high kids, I mean. It's a very music -y thing to do. Well, what about you, Asahi? Any big plans today? Or are you gonna head home, read chop, and go to bed? Hey, that plan is plenty big. And don't act like I don't have a life. I'll have you know there's more waiting for me than just chop. I've got anime and games to finish, too. In other words, you're gonna piss away the night with nerd stuff and go to sleep sometime tomorrow morning. You say that like it's a bad thing. <sighs> Still living the neat lifestyle to the fullest, I see. What can I say? I'm a career neat. It's my vocation, my passion, my one true calling in life. Such a waste. Hmm? What is? What indeed. Anyway, some of us have work. I've gotta get going. Thanks again, Mizuki. See you later. You will. Bye-bye. Well, that's enough action for one day. I might as well head home myself.
wrong, wrong! Hmm? What's with this guy? It's all wrong! This isn't the way Akihabara is supposed to be! Say what now? Why'd Akihabara have to change so much? It used to stand for something, you know? It was an audiophile's paradise, filled to bursting with dreams, desires, and high-end audio equipment. The heck's he talking about? Oh, but look at it now! It's a mess! Akiba today is all about anime and idols and all that other nonsense. Yep, this dude's nuts. Not the kind of person I should be engaging. Are Akihabara's audiophile days truly dead and buried, never to return? Oh, he just up and left without saying goodbye. Oh, where is my beloved district gone? I'd better get home before this weirdo tries to talk to me or something. Ugh. I'm home, he said to nobody. <sighs> what an exhausting day. And I haven't even done anything. I think I'll kick things off with a power nap. It's not like I don't have time. Good night, Moon. Hmm? Who's calling me now? Hello? You just woke up, didn't you? Do you have any idea what time it is right now? Oh, hey, Mizuki. Uh, morning. Wrong answer. It's almost midnight. That's about as far from morning as you can get. Oh, wow. Did I really sleep that long? Wait, why are you calling me at midnight? Did you need something? No, I don't exactly need anything. It's just that someone was so late earlier, I didn't get much chance to talk. Figured I'd remedy that now. So, uh, does that mean there's something you wanted to talk about then? Are you seriously this dense? We've been friends since, what, grade school? Then all of a sudden you drop out of college and go full neat. Of course I want to talk. I'm worried about you. Are you eating right? Have you put any thought into your future? Well, sorry for worrying you. But you'll be happy to know that I think about my future every day. I've got to find some way to be a neat forever. Are you serious right now? God, just tell me you're eating food that, like, might actually be good for you. Um, uh, potatoes technically count as vegetables, right? Yeah, no. Guess I was right to be worried about you. Your health's probably a train wreck by now. Food is fuel. And have you ever seen a train wreck run like me before? Yeah, yeah. I take it you're gonna be free tomorrow, too? Hey, stop assuming I have no life. I mean, you're right, I am free, but that's beside the point. Then let's go grab lunch together. We'll get something that'll actually be good for you for a change. Oh, you're treating? Well, when do you get out of class? When do you want to meet? Wait, you do know I don't have school on the weekend, right? We're moments away from a Sunday, remember? I guess Anit wouldn't need to know what day it was anyway. No school on Sundays, right. I forgot. See, for me, every day is Sunday. I'm sure it is. Anyway, I'll shoot you an email with the time and the place. Deal? Roger that. I'll probably be up around noonish, give or take. If you're gonna be late, let me know. Make me wait around again, and I'll bring the wrath of God down on you. Cool. I'll be waiting on your wake-up call, then. I'm not your mother. Okay, later. Mm. Night, Mom. Man, that music is always looking out for me. He's a regular guardian angel. I don't think I eat that badly. But my future? Yeah, no idea what I'm doing there. I just don't want to work, ever. I'm gonna be 
free to do what I want, when I want, how I want. Just like today. Speaking of, it'll be tomorrow any second now. Where'd I put that remote? Well, that was quick. Two o'clock by the FOSS map on Main Street. Go to bed now so you don't oversleep. I'm not your mother, he says. What am I, a grade schooler the night before a field trip or something? Come on. Mm -hmm. Who's calling at this hour? Why would anyone need to call me? Uh, why, hello, Mizuki. Isn't it just beautiful out today? <laughs> Don't you try to sweet talk me. Just how long did you plan on sleeping? Well, it's... Seriously? Do you have even the faintest idea? Well, you know... Uh, oh? Uh, all of the... Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Please. I told you in my email. I'm right by the FOSS map. I'm heading there right now. Sure, sure. Just don't forget to wash your face before you head out. And brush your teeth. Damn it. I can't believe I did this to him two days in a row. Did I... Hey, it's her again. Cadio Cafe, Nyan Dreamin' is now open! Nya! Nya! Hey, you're the cat girl made from yesterday. Which makes sense, since you told me today it was the grand opening. I remember you from yesterday, too. Are you here to patronize our fine establishment, Nya? Because our grand opening special is going on right now. Only 222 yen per drink. Ooh, it's a real steal. Sorry, I've got a friend waiting for me again. Same friend, actually. But I'll be back for you. Someday. I swear it. Ah, okay. See you next time. Fastest way to FOSS map is... Yep, cutting right through the station. Time to make tracks. 